ready for Graham, created by Rio Grande. Los Angeles Police calling all cars, attention all cars, broadcast 269, regarding a holdup. Be on the lookout for a man described as dark complexion, medium height, has black eyes. This man is wearing a ring with a blue stone. He may try to pawn the ring. That's all. Rose. justly proud of its great motor oil, Rio Lube, and tens of thousands of new motorists throughout the West tell us that this pride is just and well-earned. Yes, we are so proud of Rio Lube that we don't want anything to happen to it on its way from the refinery to your crankery. We insist that no dust or dirt finds its way into the pure 100% keratin based system. Rio Lube is so expertly refined that engine heat cannot break down its great film strength. It's so flexible that it flows smoothly and rapidly to every moving part of your motor, even in freezing weather. It must leak your crankcase with all the strength and purity we put in it. And without even the most remote possibility of dilution or substitution. For that reason, Rio Lube is sealed in airtight, dust-proof, tamper-proof cans. And Rio Grande signs its name on each container. Thus, you're not getting, you know what you're getting. The finest quality motor oil sold in the West. And if it's time you have the oil changed, get Rio Lube tomorrow when you stop in for that tank full of Rio Grande crack, the most highly recommended gasoline sold in the West, the gasoline of real police car performance. The story we are here tonight has been taken from the confidential files of the District Attorney of Los Angeles County. We have therefore asked Assistant Chief Deputy District Attorney Edwin Meyer to prepare a foreword to our program. Mr. Meyer. Although the crime we are dramatized tonight was not recently solved, it nevertheless proved the truth of the statement. Crime does not pay. We have heard many comments from listeners to this program asking why we always deal with stories that are more or less turned in the court. Therefore, we decided to dig into our records to see what we could find that would prove our point. Crime does not pay. We came across the story we are giving tonight. I think that it is proved most conclusively that regardless of how clever a man may think he is, or how careful he is to cover his crime, he can never to hope to profit by breaking the law. It is a moonless night from the year 1853, and outside the low adobe house of William Wolfe, two shadowy figures are crouched in hushed conversation, the heavier of the two feet. You are a fool, Mr. Matthew. There will be no reason to kill anyone here. Old Wolf will not recognize either of them. This is fine. We'll be careful, man. Dead man, down or down. You talk as though I, the great bond of Ferdy Moreno, would have played it. I say, let them live. They are useful citizens of our Pueblo. <laughs> and besides, there is a beautiful daughter, won't I? Some day a woman will be the best, And what of that? The gong. In a police car. All is quiet inside. We will enter by the patio door. It is only open. It is a sample of season. Not certain. Go. Old Wolf may have a gun. What a bet. He will not try to use it. He will be afraid of hitting some members of his own family. Open the door. Okay. I will go first. And remember, do not use your knife. This is Daniel Wolf's room. He will find the nothing he will. But you can do one of birds. Yeah. Like the kind of oh, Over there, the bureau. Look in the jewel box. I will stand guard to the good lady awake. Be quick. Come on, you're on that. Hurry. Johnny is reckless. I do not want to have a scheme if he can help it. He's not going to be able to get away. Good. Now, these people are just a bit too much. He's not even one. 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 To me, it's just one something. Oh. Door is slightly open. You wait here on guard. Come on, but there's every door in your house. Quick. Just do not eat this, please. That is it, sir. Oh, no. Come to like this door, sir. It is bad, sir. But do not cry out, senorita. I am a bandit. It is pity with his long black teeth. What do you want? What is the love of usually want? There are no tears and money in this room. No. Very well, I believe you. 
Oh, but uh, of course, not really. I was taken. You mean the Jackie? But of course. That is the music. And that's just the way it is. But it is a person. Thank you, isn't it? Is that it? Oh, that is too far. Well, in that case, I would have only borrowed. Borrowed? Yes. I would have returned it to you within a week. But I don't understand. Oh, this is very nice, Father Senor. Well, I have 
I'm glad you like it, Mr. Moreno. Will you <laughs> have some more wine? Oh, perhaps a little bit more. I never drink very heavily in coffee. No? No, no. You see, sometimes I talk too much. Uh, about this. Oh, and uh, <laughs> how is business? Oh, business it is not so good. Uh, the trading is very slow. But you uh, seem to have plenty of money. Oh, I have enough, but I am not getting to be a rich man. If it were not for my outside business. Outside uh, interest? Yeah, my, uh, my uh, silver mines in Mexico. Yeah, I have two silver mines in the north. Well, <laughs> how interesting. Oh, <laughs> oh what is oh. it? Hello, Father. Good evening, Mr. Miller. When it's not, it's when you're looking. You're more lovely than ever, too. Thank you. She's <laughs> getting to be quite the young lady. You know, I, I expect you'll have to get her married off soon. Huh? Oh, Father. I will envy the man who wins her. Uh, perhaps there's already someone. No, not yet, Mr. Moreno. But your ring. You're not wearing your ring. Well, haven't you heard me? Oh, Mr. Moreno's been out of town. You see, uh, we were robbed two nights ago. What did you feel? Yes, he and a partner broke in around midnight and took my wife's pearl necklace, one that's left his ring, and, and my wife. Oh, no, 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 oh, that is too far. Something should be done about it. There may be too many such robberies of late. Okay. Sure. Well, I'd like to get my hands on this bandit. Yeah, I uh, understand that it's a reward for his apprehension, dead or alive. Yeah, yes, a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars, huh? Oh, that is a lot of fun. And somebody will get it. And I, for one, will be only too glad to see him die. Everyone is in there. You didn't see, sir? You didn't see, sir? Oh, I must compliment you on your boarding school. Eh? <laughs> Thank you. And that's always a pleasure to have you present, Mr. Duke. Uh, we were discussing the sheep, uh, Sonata. Uh, Sonata, she should be strung up and roasted like a pig. The things are too powerless to catch them. Yes, they will. The can some $1,000 reward off of these dead or alive. I am in favor of the vigilante committee. Form a party. Go after them. No, 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 no. Then we'd be taking the law into our own hands. I say it's best to let the officers capture him. A thousand dollars for the matter. Dead or alive. What did you say, Mr. Moreno? Oh, nothing, nothing. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, uh, thinking out loud. Uh, Let's talk of something else. The talk is too serious. Oh, uh, may I have the pleasure of thanking you? Of course. Uh, if you gentlemen will excuse me. Oh, well, thank you. Certainly. Uh, an interesting man, that Moreno. Of yeah, course. Rather mysterious. You know? There's something about him that makes things remotely familiar. Uh, never noticed it before, but he uh, seems to remind me of someone. Uh, his voice and mannerisms. Uh, well, I can't agree with you there. He's just thinking of the uh, uh, Perhaps, but I... I can't seem to get rid of that feeling. He's a very, very graceful dancer. A little bit insipid. And how gracefully one he's a policy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They'll make a good pair, can't they? Uh, of course, he's, he's much too old for her. And I'm afraid a none too successful businessman. Eh? Why do you say that? No, we seem to have plenty of money. Why, he was just telling me a little while ago about some silver mines of his he had in Sonora. Oh, that might be so, but just the same, he comes in most recently to my shop and sells bills. Well, what of that? Even I have had to see good from you occasionally, Mr. Duke. Yes, <laughs> but you always buy back your property. He never does. Huh? Well, that is right. Yes, it is right. But I never try to pry into my customers' private affairs. My business is selling and repairing jewelry. Not down gossip. <laughs> Now, you naturally won't repeat what I just said. Why, oh, of course not. Oh, oh excuse me, Omar. I see my wife beckoning to me. And you know how wives are. Oh, yes. Well, I have to talk to my wife. Oh, we pleasure, Mr. Wolfe. We pleasure. Thank you. Fancy family scenery. That's because you're a perfect dancer, Mr. Miller. <laughs> I accept the compliment, Juanita. <laughs> hey, you don't mind if I call you Juanita? If you wish. That's my name. I have been thinking of you quite a bit of late. I have even dreamed about you. So? Yeah. <laughs> you see, I am not a married man, and... Uh... You'll have to speak to my father first, Mr. Miller. Then you, you, you mean I have a chance, Juanita? At least I'll think about it. Oh. That is, your father would have his consent. You see, I know you very slightly. Oh, it would not take long to get better acquainted. No, but I also am not sure that I might want to attend to you. I would rather father decide to tell you. If you believe, then you might get better acquainted, not before. Oh, very well. I will ask you to lie. No. I will be interested in what you say. <laughs>
And he, he was so that the business is not very good. Oh, since nothing about that, I do not like to everyone to know how much I make or so much store. But I know nothing of your family. But you will know me. Is that not enough? I would rather not answer your questions. Shall we dance? Of course. I will speak to your father later. Oh, by the way, Senorita, here is the last thing I found in the party. Will you wear it for me? I thought you deserted me for my daughter. Oh, uh, not entirely, Mr. Wood. Uh, will you have, uh, have some more wine? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Mr. Wood, uh, may I have a word with you in private? Uh, about Moana? Si. I don't think that'll be necessary, Mr. Moreno. You know, I wouldn't be entirely at ease if you were to court her. But, uh, I'm daughter. sorry, but why? I have my reasons. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> hey, no harm in us, you know. Oh, no, none. Last but not least, Jesus. No, no, no. 
college. I, uh, I sent to I sent to my mother in Mexico. Your mother? I never heard you speak of your mother. No. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Maybe I never speak about it before. Yes, sir. Oh, it doesn't matter. What did you wish to raise money on? I wish to uh, sell this watch. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah. Uh, is this your watch? Oh, but of course. But the initial on the back is W. Oh, that's funny. Let me see it. <laughs> you are a very funny man. <laughs> you are looking at it upside down. <laughs> Turn it this way, look. It makes them. Huh? Empty. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, How much do you want? Uh, $25. $25? That's a lot of money for a watch. Oh, but this one, senor, this is solid gold. Examine it. I already have. Uh, couldn't you get along on $20? Tell you, $25. This is such a small amount for a man like you is... You, you buy it for $25. Yeah, all right, $25. Yeah. Oh, I like you, Daniel. Yeah. You'll have to excuse me for a minute. I don't have that much money in the pool. Wait here and I'll get it for you. Yes, yeah, Senor Duke, I wish. My horse is outside. I wish with him. But Charles Duke did not go after more money. Instead, he ran straight to the ranger station, and summoning Captain Hope, returned to the store accompanied by Hope, Stanton, and Crawford. Just the way the four men approached the front door. Well, there's, there's the court. He must still be inside. Yeah, he's inside, all right. Holding off the reins. Yeah. What do we do, rush him? Might as well. You said that, Mr. Duke. Yeah, it might be confusing. Come on, boys. Well, 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 Mr. Moreno. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, Daniel, stop it, Don Holt. What do you want? I've come to arrest you, Moreno. Stick him up. Please, I kill you. Oh, grab him, boys. You grab him. Well, uh, George, he was a tough customer. All right, boys, carry him over to the jail. It's like our super bandit, Verdi Moreno, won't be causing Los Angeles any trouble for a long, long time. <laughs> moment, Mr. Myers will conclude our program. Meanwhile, remember, it's easy enough to do the job when the weather is balmy and fair, but the oil worthwhile is the one that can smile when there's more than frost in the air. I mean real lube, which gives you full motor protection even in zero weather. And that goes for Rio Grande Crack, too, the gasoline of police car performance. And now, Mr. Myers. Moreno was tried and found guilty of robbery and murder. He was sentenced to life imprisonment. Thanks to the keen wits of Charles Duke, this story shows that gangsters were no more successful in early California than they are today. Then as now, they learned that crime does not pay. Thank you, Mr. Myers. Police calling all cars, attention all cars, the cancellation broadcast 269 regarding a holdup. Suspect in this case captured attempting to pawn loot. That's all. Rose and case. Thank you.